The textile industry in Pakistan is the largest manufacturing industry in Pakistan. Pakistan is the eighth largest exporter of textile commodities in Asia. Textile sector contributes 8.5% to the GDP of Pakistan. In addition, the sector employs about 45% of the total labor force in the country and 38% of the manufacturing workers. Pakistan is the fourth largest producer of cotton with the third largest spinning capacity in Asia after China and India and contributes 5% to the global spinning capacity. At present, there are 1,221 ginning units, 442 spinning units, 124 large spinning units and 425 small units which produce textile. History The origin of the Indian textiles is thought to be the Indus Valley Civilization, situated in modern Pakistan, where people used homespun cotton to weave garments. Historically, the Indus Valley region engaged in significant trade with the rest of the world. The silk from the region, for example, is known to have been popular in Rome, Egypt, Britain, and Indonesia. In the 1950s, textile manufacturing emerged as a central part of Pakistan's industrialization, shortly following independence from the British rule in the South Asia. In 1974, the Pakistan government established the Cotton Export Corporation of Pakistan. CEC. The CEC served as a barrier to private manufacturers from participating in international trade. However, in the late 1980s, the role of the CEC diminished and by 1988–89, private manufacturers were able to buy cotton from Guinness and sell in both domestic and foreign markets. Between 1947 and 2000, the number of textile mills in Pakistan increased from 3 to 600. In the same time period, spindles increased from 177,000 to 805 million. Topic: <inaudible> Production. There are 6 primary sectors of the textile production in Pakistan: spinning, weaving, processing, printing, Garment manufacturing Filament yarn manufacturing Cotton is the largest segment of textile production. Other fibers produced include synthetic fiber, filament yarn, art silk, wool, and jute. Cotton Cotton spinning is perhaps the most important segment in the Pakistan textile industry with 521 units installed and operational. Synthetic fibers – Within synthetic fibers, nylon, polyester, acrylic, and polyolefin dominate the market. There are currently five major producers of synthetic fibers in Pakistan, with a total capacity of 636,000 tons per annum. Filament yarn – Three types of filament yarn are produced in Pakistan. These are acetate rayon yarn, polyester filament yarn, and nylon filament yarn. There are currently about six units in the country. Artificial silk – This fiber resembles silk but costs less to produce. There are about 90,000 looms in the country located mainly in Karachi, Faisalabad, Gujranwala, and Jalapur Jatan, as well as some in Fata. Wool – The main products manufactured from wool include woolen yarn, acrylic yarn, fabrics, shawls, blankets, and carpets. Jute, jute sakes and hessian cloth are primarily used for packing agricultural products such as grain and rice. The production of jute products was approximately 100,000 tons in 2009–10. Trade Textiles comprise 57% of Pakistan's export revenues. However, in recent years, textile exports have declined significantly. Textile exports were recorded at $11.625 billion in 2014–2015. 
In 2015–2016, this number had dropped 7.7% .7 to $10.395 billion. The Pakistan Textile Exporters Association recently requested the government to take significant measures to ensure the growth of textile exports and sustain the employment provided by the sector. Specifically, the PTEA has requested zero rating on export value chain i.e. no tax, no refund to boost export growth subsidize a decrease in cost of production to boost competitiveness of Pakistani exports guarantee energy supply to textile mills at competitive rates furthermore the Pakistan Textile Mills Association has demanded that the removal of duty on cotton imports and a rebate of 5% on textile exports this plea has come at a time with about 110 mills have been shut down due to various barriers to growth including the energy crisis. Barriers to growth In recent years, Pakistan has faced competition from regional players including Bangladesh, India and Vietnam. In the past decade, Pakistan's share in global textile market decreased to 1.7% from 2.2%, Bangladesh saw an increase from 1.9 to 3.3% and India from 3.4 to 4.7%. Barriers to growth include Cost of production – The rising cost of production in the country has stalled investment as well as export competitiveness. A vertical shift in monetary policy and KIBOR rates have contributed to an increase in the cost of doing business and reduced lending abilities of local manufacturers. Energy crisis – Pakistan is currently facing a large-scale energy crisis. Due to energy demand exceeding supply by about 5,000 MW. The government manages the deficit through daily power cuts or blackouts. These power cuts have significantly impacted manufacturing industries in Pakistan. Several textile mills have closed their units due to inability to sustain operations. In addition, the mills have reportedly turned away export orders due to the inability to fill these orders when power cuts per day can last upwards of 12 hours. Research and development – There has been a limited effort to improve the quality and quantity of textiles in Pakistan through research and development, limiting the competitiveness of Pakistan's textiles in the global market. <laughs> <laughs> Labor rights The textile industry is the second largest employment sector in Pakistan. Labor costs are estimated to be about 5 to 8% of total cost while import income of the sector is estimated to be about $12.5 billion in 2010-11. Textile mill owners have often complained that labor costs are too high while workers continue to be underpaid and overutilized. Factories often do not issue letters of employments to workers and therefore can easily fire them without legal consequences. Furthermore, safety and security remains a significant issue at textile, where there are limited checks on exhaust systems, light systems, and wastewater disposal. This dire state of affairs of labor rights comes in sharp contrast to the growing Pakistan fashion industry, which primarily serves the country's elites. See also Economy of Pakistan Foreign Trade of Pakistan Pakistan Textile Journal Textile Manufacturing <laughs>